weight loss can be tough, but maintaining the new weight after a diet is sometimes even harder. In fact, a large percentage of people regain all the weight they've lost within just one year. Weight regain is partially due to appetite and weight-regulating hormones, ghrelin and leptin, which may sound as names from Lord of the Rings. Ghrelin is a hormone produced mainly by the stomach. It circulates in the blood and acts at the hypothalamus, an area of the brain that controls appetite. It is called the hunger hormone because it stimulates appetite and promotes fat storage. Ghrelin levels are regulated by food intake. It is secreted when the stomach is empty, so levels rise just before eating or when fasting and decrease during periods of feeding. Eating reduces levels of ghrelin and dieting increases ghrelin levels, which may explain why diet-induced weight loss can be difficult to maintain. Although one would expect higher levels of ghrelin in people with obesity, usually they are lower in those with a higher body weight and are higher in those with eating disorders such as anorexia. Gastric bypass surgery, which involves reducing the size of the stomach, is an effective treatment for obesity. Patients who lose weight after gastric bypass surgery have lower ghrelin levels than those who lose weight by other means, such as diet, which may partly explain the long-lasting success in these cases. Leptin is a hormone released by body's adipose or fat tissue that acts on brain stem and hypothalamus and helps maintaining a normal body weight by providing the sensation of satiety and decreasing appetite. As body fat decreases, leptin levels decrease, which signals body to think that it's starving and stimulates hunger and appetite. This is what happens during weight loss diets, for example. Leptin levels in the blood are directly proportional to the amount of fat tissue a body has. So the less body fat, the less leptin, and the more body fat, the more leptin. That is why obesity results in higher levels of leptin, which can cause leptin resistance. In this case, the brain doesn't respond normally to leptin, and the person doesn't get the sensation of feeling full, so she eats more, even though the body has enough fat stores, causing additional weight gain. So, are there ways to control the hunger hormones? Some ways would possibly be avoiding a high-fat diet which could decrease ghrelin levels, getting enough sleep as sleep deprivation was associated with increased ghrelin levels and decreased leptin levels, resulting in higher body weight, and reducing stress because it is associated with higher ghrelin production and higher body weight.